our tears. We say thank you to the mailman. Say our grace and our amen. Live our life in God we trust. Yeah, All right, everybody. So I've been reading a little bit of Child Bride, a little bit of Elvis and Kathy. Um, and y'all been wonderful about it. If you watch the video and it tends to go a little longer, I want to remind everybody that it's only five seconds, ten seconds, and you can skip it to the next uh, part of the video. So don't feel like you just have to run away from the video once the commercial starts. Um, they're pretty good about it. Occasionally they'll do a little, a little bit longer commercial, but it's pretty rare. Um, anyways, we're, I believe, on chapter six of Child Bride. We're on page 15 of Elvis and Kathy. Uh, and I will do another another reading of Elvis and Kathy, I believe, tomorrow on Child Bride. But I did want to take a moment and talk about my Army days with Elvis, Friendship, Football, and Follies by Johnny Lang. I had a conversation with Johnny um, through, uh, it was set up through uh, Keith, um, who's a great supporter of the channel. Um, and, you know, his son, Jeff Lang, Johnny Lang's son, put this book together, you know, not very often, you know, I don't want to say that kids don't reach out and help their parents in older in older days, but uh, Jeff certainly supported his father in this. Um, and I, I did have a great conversation with Johnny. He sent me this book to Joe, Best Always, God Bless, Johnny Lang. Um, seemed to be a very kind fella, told me some stories over the phone. I want to do an interview with him, uh, but I do want to read a, a little book, part of this book for y'all. Um, dedication. This book is dedicated to my special needs daughter, Nicole Lang, who as an infant was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. hydrocephalus. Now, my son that passed away that at 44 days old had uh, something similar. At one year old, she was required major brain surgery, which was performed by Dr. Philip Huber at Children's Hospital in Detroit in 67. Dr. Huber was one of the most, most foremost experts in the field. He implanted a shunt to relieve excess spinal, spinal fluid from my daughter's brain. Now 57 years old, Nicole has needed no other surgeries or required any shunt replacements, allowing her to be a walking miracle. Um, so Johnny was the running back for Elvis in Germany. He played football every weekend with, with Elvis. He also went to a lot of things like the ice capades. Um, there's definitely a um, contribution by Elizabeth Mansfield. It used to be Elizabeth Stefaniak. Married Rex Mansfield, Wes Daniels, and Dr. Larry uh, Kefauver. Um, I'm not going to get much into this book tonight, but I did want to read a little bit. Uh, just to get us started, acknowledgments, I'd like to acknowledge my five children, whom I'm very proud of and love very much. Lisa, Nicole, Monique, uh, Jeff, and Vanessa. Special thanks to the following supporters and friends. Jerry Murray, my dear friend who helped me navigate through all the Memphis and Vegas adventures together. Her generous help over the years was a major contribution to this book. Uh... And it's very much appreciated to me and my family. And then Keith Paola. Keith and Jeannie Paola. I always appreciate the support, especially the wonderful party they threw in my honor of February of 2022. So it goes on, support, you know, uh, thanking some other folks too. And um, one important one is Elizabeth Mansfield. Ni Stefaniak. I'm so glad I ran into her while getting some popcorn in the Tower Theater in Grafenwar, Germany that fateful evening. Johnny is the one that introduced Elizabeth to Elvis. If you want to put that uh, put that uh, story together, which he told me on the phone, and I believe it's in the book as well. Um, and then the Alibi Inn in Clinton Township, Michigan, owned by my friends Connie and Leroy. He goes there all the time. It's his favorite hangout where he still goes dancing. At, uh, he goes dancing. Still goes dancing. He's, what, maybe 80 years old now? Uh, 79, something like that. 65, you know, maybe almost 90, I don't know. Yeah, almost 90, about Elvis's age. So last but not least, I'd like to thank my son Jeff with all my heart. Because without him, there would be no book. He's got a little uh, table of contents here. And there's a foreword from uh, Jeffrey's son. I was 9 years old when Elvis died in 77. And we'll get to reading all that stuff. But, you know, the thing is, this is a great book to read as well. Uh, and I will be reading it. I wanted to introduce you guys, y'all to it. If you wanted to order the book, I'm sure it's available online. Um, I think it's on Amazon. But regardless, I'll be reading it for you. And um, I believe he'll send you an autographed copy too. He's a very entertaining fellow. Um, and he spent a lot of time with Elvis in the Army. The, the time that we missed him as fans, uh, I wasn't around then, but I know some of y'all were. Um, and he was right there. Handing the ball off. I mean, Elvis was handing it to him. Uh, then he would block for Elvis when Elvis was running as a running quarterback. Um, 
So a number of years ago, the National Enquirer wanted to pay me for an interview and was looking for dirt. Not a chance. I enjoyed being Elvis's friend in those early days of his career. For decades, many people have asked me to write this book, so now in my 80s, here it is. I had fun telling these stories, and you will laugh and even find it touching. But simply enjoy the real Elvis in the Army. I have also included for you some stories by, by his singing buddy, Wes Daniels, as well as her romantic stuff shared by his early girlfriend and first secretary, Elizabeth Mansfield. And I got to speak with Elizabeth on the phone last year, a very sweet lady. And I, I definitely want to do an interview. And she's got a book. Well, Rex wrote a book. Um, anyhow, I hope you've been enjoying my reading. It's going to continue. And we're going to continue this through the end of 2024 and through 2025. I think it's great uh, for us to read together, for for us to celebrate Elvis's stories. Um, and the people that knew Elvis, like Kathy Westmoreland, you know, uh, so Johnny Lang, you know, uh, Larry Geller, I'm going to read his book too. Um, and, and hopefully I can find the time to do all this. Um, but TCB TLC, tomorrow we're going to get, uh, we're going to continue Elvis and Kathy, continue on Child Bride. And perhaps we might get started this weekend with Johnny Lang's My Army Days with Elvis. I've got a golf tournament tomorrow and Sunday. So that's six hours of time for me getting there, warming up, playing the, playing the tournament, and it's raining out. So. I'll do what I can for y'all. Love you so much. Check out the rest of the videos on my on my channel. And remember uh, to always love those around you. Make sure that you receive love from those around you. If you haven't talked to anybody lately, reach out to a friend. Reach out to a family member. It's important not to be alone in this lifetime. Uh, and, uh, and and be caring, be giving, be generous like Elvis. Uh, that's, that's something that he taught me. And even though I never physically met Elvis. All right. Till next time, this is Rare Elvis Photos.